Imagine being able to spend your vacation in a futuristic, luxurious flying hotel that never lands. On a plane that's more like a luxurious cruise ship than a traditional aircraft. Providing an experience that allows you to see the world from a whole new perspective. In today's video, we'll take a look at Sky Cruise and how it plans to turn your wildest dreams into a reality. But before we begin, we'd like you guys to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. The world of innovation has never been short of audacious ideas, and the Sky Cruise is no exception. Initially conceived by Tony Holmston, this insane mega project has captured the attention of the internet once again. Thanks to the creative vision of science communicator and producer Hashem Al Ghaili, who has reimagined the idea and brought it to life through captivating video rendering. The 3D model created by artist Alexander Tujikov perfectly showcases the grandeur and beauty of this out of this world hotel concept. With Sky Cruise, the possibilities for futuristic travel have been taken to an entirely new level. Although Sky Cruise is a revolutionary idea, flying cruise ships are not exactly a new concept. The airship era of the 1930s, when the spectacular flying hotel was initially introduced, was the closest we've ever been to having a flying cruise ship. Looking at the design in more detail, there was an opera house in front of the airship ballrooms in the middle, followed by large cabins with actual beds and baths. There was an airport inside the back of the airship where planes could be flown up and towed on board to transport guests to their rooms. The airship was built so that it could slowly cross the United States, picking up passengers in smaller towns and cities before heading out to sea where they could then fly to nearby airports. Sky Cruise, on the other hand, will be much larger. With a capacity of over 5,000 guests, this futuristic marvel is like nothing we've ever seen before. Sky Cruise will be powered by 20 nuclear engines and boast state-of-the-art infrastructure that will allow it to stay airborne without ever needing to land. To board the incredible vessel, passengers will be taken to and from the aircraft by conventional airliners and private jets via an external elevator. This magnificent flying hotel will be equipped with all the latest amenities, including an observation deck with three viewing domes that offer 360-degree panoramic views. But that's not all. Sky Cruise will also feature an entertainment concourse with everything, such as shopping malls, restaurants, pools, and theaters, as well as medical facilities and wedding venues. The entertainment decks will be connected by an external elevator that runs outside the aircraft's body, offering breathtaking views. The balconies and viewing domes will provide guests with jaw-dropping views of sunsets, starlit skies, and even the mesmerizing Aurora Borealis. Thanks to its cutting-edge nuclear fusion technology, the Sky Cruise will have a minimal carbon footprint and will be powered 24-7. Maintenance and repairs will be carried out in the air, ensuring a smooth sailing experience for all passengers. The Sky Cruise's advanced AI system will detect air turbulence in advance and send counter vibrations to keep the aircraft steady, even in the face of challenging weather conditions. Additionally, the technology works on noise cancellation, providing a serene and comfortable journey for all. Although this autonomous flying hotel, which is set to revolutionize the way we fly, sounds like an amazing idea, some skeptics have raised concerns about the feasibility of such a mega project. There are several engineering hurdles to overcome before a concept like Sky Cruise can become a reality. From understanding the complex laws of thermodynamics to addressing the technicalities of aerodynamics, there's a lot to be considered. Nuclear fusion remains an elusive technology, and its potential to revolutionize the world's energy landscape is undeniable. However, the fact that it hasn't been achieved yet 
hasn't stopped visionaries from imagining what could be possible in the meantime. While the idea of nuclear fusion as a clean and renewable source of energy is undoubtedly exciting, the prospect of a nuclear reactor on board Sky Cruise has raised significant safety concerns. Any potential malfunction or radiation leakage could be catastrophic for the 5,000 passengers on board. To address these concerns, it will be essential to ensure that the radiation shielding meets the highest safety standards. This would require thorough testing and analysis to ensure that the shielding can withstand any potential radiation exposure, even in the unlikely event of a catastrophic failure. Furthermore, developing a safe and efficient evacuation plan within 60 seconds on the ground will be crucial for the FAA to approve the aircraft. This will require meticulous planning and coordination among the staff and crew to ensure that all passengers can be safely evacuated in the event of an emergency. Moreover, several industry specialists have raised alarms about the potential safety risks in the event that the airborne hotel experiences any kind of collision. The consequences could be catastrophic and wipe entire cities off the face of the planet. While nuclear fusion may still be a dream, the possibilities it holds for creating clean, affordable, and renewable energy are worth exploring, and the Sky Cruise may just be the first step towards that vision. One of the many questions that comes to mind is where this mammoth aircraft would take off from. Currently, there are no runways large enough to accommodate such a colossal plane. The proposed Sky Cruise is a massive aircraft. Based on the 3D model, which displays the aircraft next to several Boeing 777s, Sky Cruise appears to be about five times the length of a 777 and 20 times the diameter. If we make some basic calculations, that puts Sky Cruise at about 2,000 times the volume of a 777. Considering that the Boeing 777 weighs about 240 tons, it's safe to say that Sky Cruise will have an approximate weight of 500,000 tons on 15 axles. To put its scale into perspective, the largest passenger airliner in the world, the Airbus A380, has a maximum takeoff weight of 1.2 million pounds, 560 metric tons, with only 10 axles or about 56 tons per axle. Based on the projected weight of the aircraft, Sky Cruise will have a weight distribution of approximately 30,000 tons per axle, which is far beyond the weight limit of any runway that exists today. If this behemoth were to touch down on a runway at its full weight, it would likely sink into the ground as if it were on mud. The challenges of building a runway capable of accommodating such a massive aircraft are significant and would require innovative solutions and extensive resources to overcome. Many assume that roads are indestructible and can withstand any weight. But in reality, roads have weight limits that, when exceeded, can cause structural damage. Similarly, runways have weight limits that must be adhered to. The Space Shuttle Landing Facility, SLF, at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, USA, is known for having the highest weight limit of approximately 1,000 tons, which is significantly higher than most commercial airport runways. However, there are some commercial airports, such as Dubai International Airport, that have high weight limits of approximately 80,000 pounds per wheel, or 320,000 pounds for a four-wheel aircraft. This makes it possible for the airport to accommodate a wide range of commercial aircraft, including the Airbus A380, which has a maximum takeoff weight of 1.2 million pounds. It's clear that significant infrastructure would need to be put in place to support this ambitious megaproject. One can only imagine a vast runway built in the middle of the desert, or perhaps a specially constructed launching platform in the middle of the ocean. However, this raises concerns about the environmental impact and disruption to the local ecosystem. Additionally, the cost of building a runway of this size could be astronomical. 
Experts have also raised concerns that the designs of the wings in the Sky Crew's animation may not provide enough lift to support the aircraft's weight and get it airborne. Without proper lift, the aircraft would not be able to take off and would be deemed unsafe for commercial use. This is a significant technical challenge that would need to be addressed before the aircraft could be approved for operation. Maintenance could also be a daunting task for Sky Crews, as current commercial planes undergo multiple checks at various stages. While minor fluid level checks are done every few days, more significant maintenance checks involving the opening of parts and panels occur every few years. However, given the Sky Cruise's intended long-term flight capabilities, maintenance could pose a significant challenge. To turn the Sky Cruise concept into a real-life floating paradise, a significant amount of funding will be necessary. It's no secret that commercial space travel is gaining momentum, with Jeff Bezos leading the way with commercial orbital stations. Earth is the best planet. It is not close. It's possible that one of the Fortune 500 companies that are investing in this sector could also invest in the Sky Cruise project. With the potential for a luxury flying hotel that never has to land, it's an opportunity that could change the tourism industry forever. Who knows? Maybe someday we'll be spending our vacation above the clouds. The concept of Sky Cruise showcases how sustainable energy could make a giant floating sky hotel possible providing guests with an experience unlike any other. However, it also raises many questions and concerns. What do you think about the potential benefits and risks of a nuclear-powered flying hotel? Do you think this technology could revolutionize the travel industry? Or are the environmental and safety concerns too great? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and are interested in seeing more content like this, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.